이렇게. 안녕하십니까. 오늘은 오픈소스 이야기 할 거니를. 안녕하십니까. Today we're going to talk about open source software and why you should uh, do some open source or help into open source or look into open source to become a better developer. Uh, usually my advice for people that want to be developers and that want to like become better at code in general, I always say, hey, go and make your own products, go and make your own shit. But sometimes you just really like a product or you're using a library or you just you just want to do something different apart from your products or you just want to help uh, the open source community. And this is when I think that uh, you should look into working and helping and to open source projects because it is a very rewarding experience and the open source community um, has given us a lot. Like what I built, what I teach, the clients, the money I made with my clients, traveling, everything, that couldn't be possible if uh, the software that is out there wasn't open source, if I didn't have Django that is open source, if I didn't have Express that is open source, if I didn't have any of those things, I wouldn't be where I am right now. This is because there's a huge community of people outside that are doing good stuff, that are doing uh, very quality uh, help and support for this, for this issue, for um, open source libraries. So if you ever want to become a better developer and you want to practice your code, I think looking into an open source project that you might be able to help will be a very rewarding experience because that uh, will teach you a lot about working with other people and also having standards with code. And also it will give you a little bit of a hint in how does it feel to work on a big team and with um, a lot of areas. So for example, when you find a bug somewhere, as, long, as small as it is, it doesn't matter how big it is, when you find a small bug in something, and instead of just reporting the bug, you actually look into how to help, how to fix it, if you know how to fix it, and you actually send a pull request and you actually fix the code, and then you get approval and then people use it and they update it and they're like, yeah, thank you so much. That feels nice. And also that pushes you to be a developer that thinks about working with other people, working with the team and helping and giving back to the community. So I think it's very valuable to contribute to open source. My, for me, I really like to make typings for projects. Uh, the latest one I did was for Pinterest. Hestalt is a UI kit for Pinterest and I made the typing for TypeScript because they wouldn't, they didn't support it. And I've got some people saying like, oh, thank you so much for working on this. I really needed this. And it feels good to know that your code is being used by many, many people. Now, this is helping in open source. The other way is doing something 100% open source and you creating open source. So I think that the easiest thing you could do to start something open source is maybe make a boilerplate. A boilerplate code is basically uh, something that you did that somebody can download, they can start with it. So for example, you can maybe create a Django server, for example, you can create a Django server with some settings, maybe with a Facebook login, maybe with an admin panel, maybe with a GitHub login, with email verification. And you, you can create this and instead of just using it by yourself, you can just put this on GitHub. And that is a bolder play because maybe tomorrow if I need something like that, if I need Facebook login, GitHub login, and email verification, I can just download it from you and I can start like that. So that is the other one. You can maybe make boilerplates if you want to. That's also a good alternative. I've done it and I use boilerplates from people. Actually, I use boiler, I, I am using one boilerplate from one of our students, Dal, very good boilerplate. Uh, he made a boilerplate of Node.js uh, with GraphQL and everything, super ready. Just to use, you just go in and you start typing and you start making the resolvers. You don't have to waste time in configuration. He made it and it's super cool. And I helped a little bit. I sent some suggestions and whatever. So, so yeah, go ahead, try to do that. And also uh, we are in October, maybe it's too late already, but there is something called Hacktoberfest. And in Hacktoberfest, um, it's like a contest or whatever that is uh, for open source. So if you go to the website, you will see the rules. And basically the rules are, you have to sign, you have to sign in into Hacktoberfest and then automatically with GitHub, they will see your pull requests. And if you make, I think, more than three pull requests in any open source repository, which is all public repositories on GitHub, uh, you will get a t-shirt. So go ahead, try to do it. And it, it teaches you a lot about 
working with other people and helping and giving back to the community because remember, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for open source. Let me know in the comments if you um, work in open source, if you have an open source project, just go ahead and show it in the comments so we can clap at you. What do you like? What have you done? Have you ever done anything open source? Have you ever uh, tried to? What was your experience? And that's it. Let me know in the comments. Go, go outside.